<laughs> greeting from Thailand and I hope all is serving you all um, it hasn't been easy on my side <laughs> been under a lot of physical shift as well as emotional and mental and I'm feel drawn to do a little video so that this may assist those who resonate somehow. As we're moving along through the energy of this year, where pain and pleasure become really clear, where our dark and light becomes really clear in equal form, know that we have a choice. Know that we have a choice to dwell into the state of being a victim or into that repetitive emotional and mental and physical attachment. Or we have a choice to change. We have a choice to shift into the higher heart, into the higher mind. We have a choice to view ourselves in the situation from the higher eye. Ding, the higher force. <laughs> But know that all of these energies is carrying us into a huge wave that coming in in August. Know that not everything is going to make sense to the mind, and that is okay. Because our 3D mind is still having a long way to catch up with the energy that we are downloading with the energy that our DNA is sparkling out and transmitting out. Know that you can trust, that we can trust, and know that we are in the unified consciousness, or what I like to call uni-consciousness. Know that within the perception of separation, which one can always get caught into, living the human life but yet again when one is aware of choice one can rise and unite oneself with the grand consciousness with the grand mind with the grand heart with the infinite source of love so I would like you to just sit comfortably and breathing in and now and let your breath be in the natural pace. If you feel that your heartbeat has been a bit too fast, if you've been feeling anxious, perhaps slowing down your breathing deeper and slower would help. Welcome in light language transmission from a feline family, from our feline family. <laughs> Welcoming in the divine consciousness of Lemuria and the inner earth, the divine civilization and unity and oneness of Mother Earth. Inviting the infinite love of the source. Tune into the energy beneath your feet or beneath your roots. Moving up to you in the beautiful spiral form, the Divine Consciousness of Mother Earth, Shambhala, realms of inner earth that are assisting us in anchoring, in unifying the golden air. Kahuti. Ooh, 
I karono korotai na anaki. I karono korotai anaki a tora. O mai a tora o e ana e. I ana ora kara ti ano ko. O ma kaya ti ano ko ra a ana i ano. A kuyo no ma kaya ti e ora no. O ma a ya ki ano kara a ana ki a tora. I mana koro koro to yana ora ni ana. I ana koro koro to yana ama ki a tora ai na ki a. A mana ai stati ano ku ai na stati ana ka. I ano kora ama i kayo no o. Aru no koro to yana ama ki a. I ano kora ai na kayo to. Maki o koyo shono ki a to. Maki o koro koro no o ki a ta. I mana o yana uma, sasa ini kuya, sasa ini kuyuto, i ana kora, mmi. Kina ma aina kora ama i ano tai, ti ano kuma aina kayo, o rana kia tora, ah rani. Through the state of unique consciousness, we view, we experience everything as one. To anchor the higher perception of love and compassion is to be aware of our choices and actions. Thus, Align our choices and actions with our heart, with our inner morals. Through unified heart, unified mind, unified consciousness, soul family, Reunite, so tribes, we meet, we connect, regardless of distance, regardless of dimensions and realms of time and space. Regardless of race or form. Three cards. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Torch of Ascension as always. <laughs> Three cards for the collective in this moment of time that deliver clarity, insights and guidance of love and truth. central sun. Time to center ourselves. We are an image of the sun. The central sun card reminds you who are drawn to this card that it's time to disentangle and detach from anything that no longer serves, whether it's the outer world or the inner world. 
whether it is the mind loop, the emotional patterns, the emotional attachment, thought attachment or physical attachment, as well as the situation and people around you that no longer serve or no longer resonate. And this signifies greatly that, that this is a moment of time that perhaps it's not for us to take action in order to change anything in the outer world, but it's a moment of time that coming back into ourselves for honest self-assessment in order to see what have yet to be unclean, in order to see what have yet to be released. And the wisdom is in the heart. It's in the center of the center sun. And the heart is going to be the key that carries us through this year and most importantly into the landscape next month. So you can sit in your space. just in your heart ignite the light of the sun from your heart 360 degree with your rays purifying all the residue and cords with anything that no longer serves anything that you wish to release yourself from anything that you wish to shift away from allowing them to flow in their own nature and allow yourself to flow in your own authentic rhythm and frequency. Karenia anokora to yonama ae na tia to. Marua! One of my favorite. Believe in yourself. The power of belief has such a strong frequency in manifesting. As we're moving along, we will feel that it's not so much of what we believe our reality is, but it's more of what we feel. But then again, when we create, when we make a decision, when we make a choice, be firm on that. Trust in that. Because when you inject trust, into your creation or into your path, you strengthen the power of healing, of self-development, of manifestation. And of course, the ice, the ice cream truck is passing by. I'm, I'm not sure if you can hear it through the microphone. <laughs> so Marua is bringing us ice cream. <laughs> So the energy of Marua is carrying us into Leo. Know that all the struggles and all the changes and challenges that we are going through is or are opportunities for us to transform, for us to really, really anchor what have yet to come, to be ready. In an order, whatever you're going to define your reality into, in the highest definition. A definition is a very interesting thing. It put labels on our perception and reality. So be mindful of how you define things. At time, I complain of, about what I go through, and then I hear myself and I say, "Okay, so this is my ego that is really, really." making things worse <laughs> so just tune into your third eye felines family our felines family Lion council of light is communicating through us through our third eye and around our crown
within this movement, dear ones, allow yourself to flow, allow your perception to flow, allow everything to be shifty, as shifty as possible. Continue to move, move along your creativity, move along your imagination, move along your choices, your views, your feelings, without any cling, any attachment. Movement, movement. Connection between earth and star. I recently make a blog. I'm going to um, put a link under, under this video for the two blogs I made. And if you haven't subscribed to the website, please do so, so you get notification of the blog firsthand as well. Or you can follow me on Facebook. I will put a link of the Facebook page underneath this, underneath this video as well. So um, there's a blog about the wisdom of the panther totem. How the panther or the leopard or the felines are the keeper of wisdom and the guardians of records of wisdom. And this applies to everyone. This applies to everyone, how everyone has the ability to tap into that subtle knowledge and energy between the trees, the soil, earth and stars. So at times, challenges, struggles, chaos, dramas get us trapped into that human mind. But know, know and know and remember that once we rise above into the higher eye, into the higher mind, into the higher heart into a more broader perception there's certain messages that come into us certain codes certain resonance certain waves that are carrying us in along in this movement into something new and of course, most of the time, this is going to, not going to understand it completely, but this feels. One more card. I feel that one more wants to come up. Karai anoko maya to. Again, felines, <laughs> leopards, snow leopard. Snow leopard, this card speaks of the two things, patience and courage. A very strange pair, but yet very paradoxical in a way. Within this movement, in order for you to take action, in order for you to anchor, write or make sense or a move or really take action or shift. So when something is not really clear, cultivate patience. But yet again, in order to move forward, one, one must have courage. So see how you can implement this too in a beautiful dance. At time, you may need to retreat into your space to heal, to regenerate, to allow your body, your mind, your emotion to go through what they need to go through. And at time, you need to come out with courage and speak and share and communicate. And of course, with peace and respect. And this snow leopard brings forth the wisdom of Himalayan, the Himalayan mountains, deep, deep in the shout of Mother Earth and deep in the shout of ours.
Thank you. Take care, take care of your heart, take care of one another, be gentle to yourself. Um, I'm often reminded to be very gentle and to take things very slow. My mind often wants to do everything in one day, but it's just not possible. Sometimes you just have to listen to your body. <laughs> okay. Um, next month, I will be doing another telecast on your awakening on 8 of 8, the Lionsgate. The details will be out later, possibly a bit before the day. So, I'm very excited, very excited, and we'll see what comes. <laughs> the most important thing is, it's always a blessing and I always enjoy sitting in the sacred space with you all. So, um, yeah, I will keep you updated through this channel as well to what's coming up next month. Thank you for your love and your support and your comments and for taking time to tune in. Thank you so much. Love.